Five Star Broad leads the charge. There he is, ball in hand. Another five wicket haul for Stuart Broad yesterday. Day Brilliant. one of the, the first test of the summer. A good day for Eng England as well. Bowling Ireland out for just 172. And then Duckett and Crawley got some runs too. A uh, transfer story on the back of the mail. Sammy Mockbell says Declan Rice is set to snub by Munich <sighs> as Arsenal wait in the wings. He wants to stay in the Premier League this summer despite interest from Bayern. Managerial merry-go-round. How about this? That's a story on the back of the star. Uh, they say Brennan Rodgers has emerged as a shot target of Leeds United and Ooh. also... Ange Postacodulo insists he will not think about the Tottenham job until after trying to lead Celtic to a Scottish treble. So, um, Postacoglu. What did I say? Like Ange Postacodulo. Jalou, yeah. Ange Postacodulo. Is that wrong? Postacoglu. Can, can I just say... Postacoglu. Postacoglu. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Prodigy the over Celtic there. Manager. You know? <laughs> You're the one that, that was your script yesterday. That the really Celtic made. manager. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. The other thing is the Celtic. Everyone calls him yes. Ange. Big Ange. Big Ange. So, so him, him saying he's not thinking about it after the cup means he's thinking about it. Because <laughs> he would have said about it. He might have been asked about it, to be fair, <laughs> yes. in his defence. I um, think so. Go on, I'll, I'll ask you about then first, Razor. Yes. Um, Tottenham, a lot of rejections already having there over the past couple of weeks. Would Ange be a good appointment for you? <laughs> I'll see what you've done there. I think so. I think he comes across great. What he's done at Celtic, unbelievable. <laughs> he's seventh, did you say seventh in line? Well, I mean, we're, well, that, no, that's what we're, like, we're, yeah. we're led to believe. Yeah, I think it'd be. I'd, I'd rather him than Brendan Rodgers. I think that, Graham Potter. Uh, Graham Potter. Well, he's, he's left at you know Chelsea. Sour taste. Would they swap managers? I mean, at start of the season, uh, start when Potts was there. Would they swap managers at the start of the season? Would you think you know Potts go there and Potter mm. coming out? I don't think they would. Would they? No, I, th I absolutely not. I think Spurs fans, well, certainly the Spurs mm. fans, I think we've had on this show a lot of them. Yeah. And I, and I think he's, he, he looks back, like uh, the Ange, as we call him now, the Celtic <laughs> manager. He, he seems a, a nice man. He seems like a Tottenham manager, you know, uh, you know, nice and comes out and he, he says nice mm. things. His interviews are unbelievable. I mean, a lot of managers you can you can you can tell after a game you can tell what they're going to say. Yeah, but I think he comes out. He's very enthusiastic. He's, mm. He sort of t speaks about the game great. He, 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 he explains it to the fans mm. well. So I think, you know, it'd, it'd, be good. it'd be a good fit to chuck them. Good stuff. Um, big story on the back of a lot of the papers, guys, we have to talk about. Um, this is after the video emerged on, on social media. Sickening, sickening stuff. I'll read this from the back of the uh, the mirror shocking footage to merge last night of referee Anthony Taylor and his family as well being accosted by furious Roma fans. Taylor and his family were led to a private room by security staff at Budapest Airport after Roma supporters who had watched their team lose to Sevilla in the Europa League final were fuming at the Premier League official. This is, of course, after the ugly encounter um, was after Jose Mourinho confronted Taylor in a car park on Wednesday night, after the Europa League final, mm. he then goes to the airport to leave the country and go and have a look at it on social media. He's got loads of people around him. Stuff's being thrown it's at disgusting. him. He's got his it's young disgusting. family with him. It looks like, I think it's his daughter who's next to him. She looks like she's in tears. Um, now, we love that football fans are passionate and they care about their football clubs. But what the hell yeah. is going on? Well, that just crosses How the line. How is this happening now? That's, it's an absolute disgrace. That's not passionate. That's imbeciles. Mm. That's people not understanding. It's just a game of football at the end of the day. And I know there'll be people right now thinking, oh, it's more than that. It is life and death and all that. Which it isn't. It isn't at the end yeah. of the day. It's Once that whistle that, blows... That's it. Everyone should just be walking out. Yeah, you can be disappointed. You can be annoyed at certain things that happened. But you can't do what we saw in that Budapest airport. It's absolutely vile. And I do think Jose Mourinho has a lot of responsibility in all of this. 100% now. Of course, his interaction with Anthony Taylor would not... He wouldn't have thought necessarily it would lead to what he's, what we've now seen. Yeah. But there are consequences to your actions. And I certainly think Jose Mourinho has a lot to answer for. In the fact... I mean, look, it's not the first time he's, he's been outspoken... And, and, and we've seen him react to referees in such ways before. Um, I think the authorities have to come down hard on him. They have to come hard down on uh, Roma and on Sevilla as well, let's not forget, because both sets of teams were appalling yeah. in, throughout that whole game. Um, but no, we should never be seeing scenes like that. It's absolutely disgusting. And I, I think, I think, you, you, I mean, Joe, Jose Mourinho, I mean, he's got, he's got to take the brunt of the, of the stick here, but... Would them fans have seen his press conference? Would they have seen it? Of course they would have seen it. They've, they've got a phone. They're, they they, they would have. That's what I'm saying. If we've all seen it, I don't see how yeah. they wouldn't see it, Razor. You know? Yeah, so I think it's crazy. 
but they got to come down hard on, and, on Marina. Plus, plus, would you have referees walking through? It? Well, I, I was literally I about mean, to say, I'm also surprised he was allowed to walk. I, I didn't see any security next to him. But, that, that's what I mean. You probably could, it, it's not, it's, it's not, not enough. It's no. not a home stadium. It's, it's a neutral stadium, so you get both sets of fans there, and you're going to get the referee walking through. I mean, what are they doing? Yeah. Why are you letting but, referee but, go to a, mm. was, an airport when it's going to be two sets? One, one set of fans are going to grab the ump. Yeah, we should say there was some security, but it wasn't Nowhere great, near enough. No. In no. fairness, and because there's a chair so, even thrown in his direction. So. Surely now, right? These people, the authorities, have got to make a statement here, okay? They've got to throw the book at the fans. Yeah. They've got to throw the book at Jose Mourinho. But the thing and about Jose on... Mourinho, they'll, they'll find him. He's got hundred yeah, million. Yeah, no, he'll be, be pennies yeah, for him, He's a multi-millionaire. So what, 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 that's, why, that's why he, he doesn't care. When when he come out, when he's at the car park after, have you seen the footage, the underground car park, when the referee walks out? He sees a camera on him, and then he, it sort of makes him more bravado, makes him more tough, makes him, and he comes out with more and starts effing and blinding and Because yeah. they can see the camera. And then that, so very, very quickly, I want to say as well, surely then from the start of next season, okay, because I think all of this ultimately stems from people watching their heroes on TV, shouting referees' faces and thinking it's acceptable. Yeah. Please, Howard Webb, tell every single referee from the start of next season, any player or manager that swears at you or shouts at you, book them. And well, if you end up booking 28 look, players, is, it doesn't matter. Did, Do it. We were, lay down the authority. Didn't the rule come out the free player? Where was it? A Southampton game that the third player came up to referee and got booked. What was that? What was that rule? There was a rule that the third player that came up to, to uh, argue with the referee was the one that got booked. Well, don't just book the I first mean, one and keep listen, listen, I mean, any that's form what I'm of saying. Those three players. Be, it's crazy. But then equally at the same time, this isn't Anthony Taylor's fault. At, no, at the end of the day, not, he refereed not. that game. I thought he did well now. Absolutely. It was and, a and highly the thing controversial is game. But look, there is more that we can discuss about this. Yeah. Absolutely. But what I will tell you, if anyone ever tells you that a manager or a player's antics doesn't have consequences, then you only have to look at what we saw at that airport yeah, yesterday. Crazy. We will talk more about that throughout the show because it is an awful, vile situation that Anthony Taylor went through. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.